Hey guys, um, I'm making this video, um, I'm doing a voiceover on this one, I'm trying something different, but uh, basically I am replacing my window outer trim for the car. It was redone um, when I had the car painted and bodywork complete on it, but the seal came up in the corners, as you can see where my gunk would be melted. And when that was done, um, it was not even a year into it. I took it back for a quote and they said, hey, it's going to be about an extra $240 to get your windshield replaced with a whole new seal. So I decided to do it myself and save myself some money. And I wasn't going to pay an extra $240 just for having to put a whole new seal in. Uh, so this is my video on this one um, it speaks kind of repetitive on what you need to do it's just me filming it I don't have a tripod or anything so I put links in the in the description uh, of where I got the parts um, but hope you enjoy Basically what it is, is just trim. There's the factory Mazda three-piece one that you can get with the part numbers. I'll put those in the description as well if you want to get those, but those will total up to over about $100. And av availability to get those is few and far between. And they're plastic. Basically it goes one right here, one across the top, and one down on the other side. This is one piece. You just maneuver it and it does the same effect. The, the windshield is sealed, by the way. It's glued in there. It's it's not coming out. This is more just to channel the water away from it, so it goes down into your fender well holes and out, and looks just looks nicer. So that's what we do. Right, first up, like I said, clean up all your edges. We'll get that taken care of. Also, have a heat gun to soften up the rubber piece, so you can get that into place. Make sure all this is nice and clean as much as you can. Uh, also grab some sealant that you'll need in certain areas just so it stays down. A little progress update. As you can see down in the channel there, all this glue sealant, that was placed down there to help support and the rubber seal to stay down since it was popping up. But I had to get all that out of the channel so I can lay this new one down. It snaps in and in its place. Now, it's not going to be perfect, and I'm probably going to go back with some ether or some uh, uh, paint remover that gets this goo off without ruining my paint. This is a $6,000 paint job, and, you know, they said, oh, yeah, we'll do uh, your windshield for an extra 240 I'm like, okay, yeah, go ahead and do it, and I didn't expect it within a year or so that the I would have problems with this trim seal going all the way, all the way around. So this is what I'm left with. Um... Yeah, six thousand dollars for a paint job, which is great. Paint job is great. I just think next time I'll, you know, think differently on it. Day here. So after reviewing some uh, my other the other video that I saw doing this, um, when they replaced my windshield, there's this locking tab. Now you can see right here. This is a new locking tab that came with the kit. Um, but there's supposed to be a locking tab that goes right on the seal here. But when they did my windshield, they didn't put that tab in there. So it's all bare. So now I got to cut this new locking shield. Um, basically this new holder. Um, cut. I cut this in half, like the video was stating for both sides. See this one side in here? Nice and sits in there. You know, not 100%, but it sits in there. With no glue, as I gotta put the glue down. Uh, but I'm gonna put a little uh, part of the tab here. I gotta clean this out over here on this side, all that gunk, and then down the side over there. And I'll lock it in. Um, and then you take a heat gun with your glue to get it all flattened out and to stick in there. As you notice, you can see it's just dry fit. But you can see this gap right here. So I gotta put a little locking over there, clean this up. 
you know, and sits in there too. All right, so um, I took a break, got some lunch, and I laid this in dry. There's no, um, there's no sealant around this, so this is all taped down with painting masking tape. It's the best tape to use to hold down stuff. But as you can see, these little ripples here, this will be smoothed out with a heat gun and putting down the uh, sealant. Now let's go over to the other side. I still gotta clean this side over here, but as you can tell, how it does not sit down all the way is because it's all filled with that gunk. And then this all gets put down in there and suggested cut up your strips of lock, lock strips. And then one, uh, the guy who did this originally put it in the center here to keep it down and around the edges. I'm gonna might take one of these, it's already cut in half. I'm gonna cut it in half again and then spread it out to where it's not laying down at. So that's what I'll be working on. A little, a little more project to go, uh, but it'll get done and be nice and neat. Okay, a little quick update. I got as much as I could, and gotta be careful when you're cleaning it all out that not the chip your glass, cause that's what I did. Uh, E6000 along the top here, along the corners here, cause this was a problem that was coming up. The corners would heat up and then peel back, and then I also used the lock strips, one on this side, two at the top and one at the other side over there. And then, you know, you can use your preference. Um, this was a $72 strip, was 20, but it went up in cost within six months. Got very popular from Jags. And yeah, you can see, you know, it's not, not the greatest, but it's down, it's snapped in. Take the tape off. It seems to be looking good. I got a few spots I gotta clean up on. Like right here, just gotta work it in more with a heat gun and then clean this off and this off here. But yeah, this is known right here um, only because this is just the rubber of how it goes but other than that it's anchored in snapped in the corners no problem uh, a little bump right down there that's probably the lock didn't get down in there um i let the glue sit up overnight with the tape to keep it keep it down the real test will come during the next summer when it's 110, 112 degrees outside and the car shows are popping up. Um, let's look at this side. Oh yeah, much better. A lot better. This side's uh, also clamped into, into the spot. Just a little excess glue got rubbed off. But yeah, other than that. So yeah, uh, to review. Um, dollars on jegs that's where i found it from link uh, there's a similar one on ebay um so it's up to you how you want to do it but this is a nice way to do redo the trim so having that rubber piece the rubber piece that they gave me was just like a complete huge rubber that just came up in the corners during the heat didn't last um, well if you like my videos like share subscribe leave a comment um, help me get that YouTube algorithm so I'm not uh, low on the totem pole. And this is North Calmietta. Peace.